In this video, we're going to look at the other options, select phone and email, and you'll notice a time delay there. For, for this uh, example, for this training, I'm going to do one minute. I will have another video in this training series, series on how to select times and how many to upload and, you know, keeping yourself out of trouble from doing too much bulk stuff at one time. Please watch that video before you actually put any of this into play. Um, but this video, I just want to show you how to use it. Now, if you click this and hit the, the timer and you go to do it, and it says you don't have this, you have a basic plan, you need to go back to whoever you got the member mover extension from and say, hey, I need to upgrade my plan to Platinum, what's involved in that? And they'll send you a pay link or, or let you know what needs to be done or, or paid to get that upgraded to Platinum so that you can do phone and email. Now, keep in mind, uh, this does not give you a phone and email on everyone. It only is going to give it on... on uh, accounts, Facebook accounts, where that information is publicly available. For most of our experimentation with this, it's about 20%. Um, I've seen some some target audiences only have 5 or 10%. I've seen some have 30 and 40%. Uh, but as an average, if you're going into a particular group, you're probably going to see uh, around 20% or maybe even a little bit less than that will have either a phone and or an email. So just keep that in mind also. So without further ado, let's go to a group. I'll just pick one of my groups again. Um, we use those in other examples. Let's go to this one. Make sure you're on the members page, okay, of the group where it, where it shows all the people in the group, all right? And uh, once you're there, open the extension and hit select phone and email, one minute, and then start processing data. Now, in the basic plan, you'll remember we saw it went to 10 almost immediately. Well, it just went to one, <laughs> okay? Now it's gonna run a timer down. You've got it at a minute, so it's actually gonna be like somewhere between 30 seconds and 90 seconds, and it will, um, it will, it will download another one. So I'm gonna actually pause this video, and I'm gonna let this run for a little while, and we'll come back, and then we'll take a look at that data. And uh, that way you're not sitting here for, for 30 minutes or 40 minutes while I gather some data. And we're just going to let this run in the background. Now, and you can see, uh, even though I paused the video, we've jumped up to 68 now. I'll let it go one more number, and then we're going to hit stop and download. There's 69. It's going to run it to 70, but um, I think that's enough for an example. So, when you, again, just like the other one, when you hit stop and download, it'll download... A CSV file to wherever your computer uh, has set for default downloads of CSV files and you can click go home if you want after that's finished it'll reset that back to there uh, you can even close out the extension and uh, I'll open this but I'm going to open this uh, in another uh, edit because if there are any phone numbers or emails uh, the profile IDs and all that's public information you can just find that anywhere on Facebook but I don't want to give out anybody's emails or phone numbers. So what I'll do is uh, I'll open the CSV file and the ones that have emails, I'll leave them in there, but I'll change them to like test at test.com. And the ones that have um, phone numbers, I'll do the same thing. I'll make it, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or something like that. And we can show you uh, the details in there. So let me pause this again. Okay, so I've opened this and edited it. You can see we have uh, 69 entries or 70 lines, but the first one's the title. So out of 69, we got two, four, five, six. We got seven phone numbers. I made them all five, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to protect these people's privacy for this video. Um, and we got uh, one, two, th four emails, and I made them test at test.com to protect their info. And one of them, we got a phone number and an email. So we got. Um, what did I say? Seven, two, four, six, seven phone numbers, eight, nine, ten. So we got contact for ten people out of seventy. That's much higher than one out of twenty. Um, and one of the people we have two other communications, uh, two other platforms of communication to reach them on email and phone. So we can uh, upload these up to uh, to another CRM. We can send them to our text marketing. Uh, so out of, out of this, it's you know just about ten percent of our people. Uh, we can now do text marketing too as well, uh, and probably around that one out of 20, we can send emails to as well. So, uh, and then everybody can either go into a custom audience or we can load up into Genius Messenger CRM or a similar product and uh, send them 
uh, messages in Messenger. So that's it. That's how the uh, uh, feature works for um, you know the additional data of the email and the phone number. Uh, that's it for this video. In uh, another video, I'll talk about some best practices, and we'll also talk about how to upload these into Genius Messenger CRM if that's a software that you have and a place that you would like this data to go. Thanks. See you in the next video.